Also, welcome back, guys. My name is Amdan, and in today's Make Launch Free campaign, we are going to do something very interesting, and that is transferring WhatsApp from this Android, which is basically a Samsung M51, onto this iOS, and this is an iPhone 11. Now, if you're thinking that's very simple, well, I think you got it wrong, because the Android, the WhatsApp gets back on the drive, and on the iPhone, it gets back on the iCloud, and they don't kind of like each other. They don't kind of gel with each other and therefore the need of a third party solution because as of now it's not natively possible. Maybe WhatsApp is working on it and if they come up with a solution I would be more than happy to show it to you. As of now we are trying to do this with a paid third party solution and that's iCareFone from Tenorshare. Most of third party solutions would work in the same way and therefore I thought maybe I will show you the whole process step by step without anything being skipped. So join me in the journey. Let's begin. Now for beginning let me make you understand the setup that we have here. So here we have an Android and this is basically a Samsung M31s and here we have an iPhone 11. So this is basically the Samsung M31s. So this is running Android 10 and I have a fully loaded WhatsApp. I mean this is a regular WhatsApp account and therefore you will see I have a lot of like you know chats, groups, archive chats and every other thing which I intend to transfer on to this iPhone 11. Let's also understand that like this Samsung is running on Android OS and the iPhone 11 runs on iOS. There are two different operating systems which make it very difficult transferring WhatsApp from one device to an another device of a different OS and therefore we need third party solutions and most of these are paid ones. Today we'll be looking at a solution from Tenorshare, it's called iCareFone and we're looking at the steps involved. Now before we proceed there are certain things that we need to do here. First we need to turn the USB debugging on. The way you do that is by like heading to your about phone and first like heading towards software information and then tapping on the build number several times so that your developer option is first turned on will be prompted for screen lock once the developer mode has been turned on you can again head towards your settings scroll down until you see developer options scroll down until you see usb debugging and toggle it to on it says it's been used for development purposes all that is fine need to turn usb debugging on Anyways, when you do the transfer, they will be prompting you for this. So if you have this already enabled, it will give you some good grounds ahead. Well, now that this has been done, what I will advise you to do, although this is not a mandatory step, is to take a local instant backup of all your chats. The way you do that is by heading towards your WhatsApp settings, then heading towards your chats, inside chats, heading towards chat backup, inside backup, then tapping on backup. Now you can see the last local backup took place at 12.51 and the G Drive backup took place at 1447. In case you are wondering that whether we will be able to use the Google Drive, the answer to that is plain simple no. You see, on an Android, you can still have the backup from Drive when you try to transfer it from one device to another. But on an iPhone, it happens from the iCloud. And simply, there is no way of transferring data from Drive to iCloud because these are all in encrypted form and it's very difficult. So let's forget that thing. Let's just go ahead and do a plain backup and now you can see that messages are getting backed up. Why I ask you to do a localized backup is because in case the third party solution doesn't work or something goes wrong during the process, you at least have the comfort of knowing that in the file manager for the device, the backup containing the databases of all the chats and the settings, group settings, archive settings, everything still remains intact. So in case something goes wrong, you have the comfort of using this as like a backup for restoring stuff. So let this happen. In the meantime, we'll just pause and then we'll resume for further instructions. Just one thing while you are taking the backup, just be sure that you tag this include videos to on. This is so that you know all the media files and everything also gets backed up. It's just a good thing to do that. So the backup has completed. You can see it's 252 right now and it shows 251. The backup has been taken. So this is just like I said, it's just for a precautionary thing. So it's just good to have this local instant backup. Now, like, let's go ahead and let's look at what needs to be done. Well, in today's video, we will be talking about the solution which has been provided by Tenorshare. This is the iCare phone. I believe this to be a wonderful solution. Here you can download it freely, but like in case you want to do a WhatsApp transfer, uh, let it be known that it requires a subscription. I have gone ahead for the monthly subscription package. It costed me $20. You can use the video description links. Maybe you will get it at a cheaper rate. And really, once you have used it and it served your purpose, you can turn the auto renew off so that you don't end up paying again and again. 
So just go ahead and download this and then download the driver files and everything. Once all of that has been done, so like you can simply open the thing, like you can run the executable file, have the installer package run, and then you will be presented with the interface which looks like this. Now once this is there in front of you, you will select the social app. Now what is the app that we are talking about? We are talking about WhatsApp and we want to transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone. That's why I select WhatsApp. Now, this is a very important interface and this is a common interface that you will be seeing across different third-party applications. Today we speak of, say, Tenorshare Solution iCare phone. Tomorrow if we speak of something else, say, Doctor Phone or Wondershare or something else, you will see that they all kind of use the same interface for doing a transfer and therefore it's very important to understand. Here when you see the source, what it means is from where do you want to transfer the data. So in this particular case, we want to transfer the data from an Android and what should be the destination? The destination is my iPhone 11, it's an iOS. So here on the left hand side, you see transfer, backup, view and restore. Now remember I told you to like go ahead and do a local instant backup. Well, that can also be used. Also, the third party applications, they also have the capacity of doing a full device backup once you connect any device to it. And then that backup can be used as well as the backup that's been stored on your Android, which we did a few moments back. I always prefer doing like the backup from the solution because it's a paid solution and they really do a very good job here. So now the next step is like, you know, connecting our device and then getting the backup done. So let's go ahead and do that. Now mostly Samsung Android phones comes with a charger with a detachable USB cable. So that can be used for connecting to the computer. So what I will do is I will connect the Samsung M51 and I will connect this to my like, you know, uh, computer or laptop, what, whatever will be the case. Now as soon as I do that, you will see that we will get this device on the screen. So it detects the device. Now the next following steps would be to like, you know, backup, taking a backup and then first verifying this device that is verifying the WhatsApp number and then proceeding with the transfer thing. So first let's go ahead and do the backup. Now that the device has been selected, what we can do is we can go ahead and tap on backup now. Now you can see that it says that creating WhatsApp backup. In case in your PC it shows like go ahead and do USB debugging. First go ahead and do use USB debugging the way we did that, right? So once you do USB debugging, this is the thing that it will show. Now you can see there are certain two options, creating a new backup or selecting a backup from the localized backup. You remember what we did at the start of the video? We did a local backup. That can be used. It's basically 251, the same backup we, had, we had done. But I want to create a new backup using the Tenorshare solution and therefore creating new backup and then clicking on continue. What it does is it will now take all the data from the WhatsApp, from the device and using the Tenorshare solution, it will be creating a full proper comprehensive backup. Now this is the backup which we will be wanting to then use to kind of transfer onto our iPhone. So hold on here, it may take some time. So depending on whatever, like the files you have, the messages you have, the videos and other things you have, this may take some time. So just hold on, there is nothing to worry. So let this thing happen. Now you can see that the backup has completed. And now next, what we have to do is we have to put in our number. So we'll just do one thing. So we'll be putting in the WhatsApp number. So let me do that. Let me click on verify. So it tells me whether we have enabled two-step verification in case we need to disable that. I haven't created, so I can go ahead and click continue. So it says that it may send a text message with WhatsApp verification code, perfectly fine. So now i should be looking at my phone any moment now i should be getting in a code so i have actually received the code and it's 623381 and i can click on verify now while this process happens you do realize that the restoration data is being prepared so that it can then be used in the target iphone 11 device so as of now the restoration data is being created and then it will be restored onto iPhone. Shortly, this will be getting verified. Now the next step, as you can see here, it's creating a backup for view and restore. So the WhatsApp data in the Samsung phone has been totally backed up. And like 
we can not only view this we can also restore this backup so we select restore backup and it tells me like you know uh, all whatsapp data including messages will be restored to the device select the restore device now we have only connected samsung to the device we also now want to connect other devices so let's do that step now at this point we will be again connecting the target device that is this iphone so using the charger cable what i have done is i have put in the usb in the usb slot and since this is a detachable thing uh, i will be putting it inside the computer so now that this thing has been detected i mean this will shortly show up like you know as as an option here so if i can just simply take the drop down you will see iphone 11 is also now reflecting amongst the connected devices so i have taken a backup from android and now i am selecting or i should be selecting iphone 11 so now that iphone 11 has been selected i tap on restore now it says WhatsApp data on iPhone 11 will be overwritten. Are you sure you want to continue? So yes, we have nothing on the iPhone 11 and therefore I want to continue. So here now the process as you can see is like about the data being restored and like you know getting it restored to the target device. So this process may again take some time. So just be patient and let this happen. Now you can see that the data has been restored. So like, you know, now what it says is that log into WhatsApp on the target device that it's on the iPhone, we need to log in. And then uh, like once we logged in, then we can like, you know, do the restoration process. So at this point, it's required that you head towards your target device, which happens to be iPhone 11 in our case. And we need to go ahead and download WhatsApp from the app store and register with the same number that we have verified so far so i click on agree and continue and actually i have already put in the number here so i'll just repeat this so once we do this so it will retrieve credentials and it says it's the same number so it's a yes for us and then it will now be verifying this so it tells that a whatsapp uh, like SMS has come and there you can see the thing is 380280 so I'll put in this 380280 and there you go it's validating it and then it says uh, restore your chat history for my cloud you will not be able to restore later this that so now we will move back to this so we have actually logged into the target device that is the iPhone 11 and now we will go ahead and tap on login. We can tap on logged in. You can see like the process would now start of restoring to the target device. So from the Android onto the iPhone 11, the restoration is now in progress. And you can see it's presently 18.42% complete. So the restoration of the WhatsApp that's been taken is now getting transferred and being restored to the iPhone 11. So while this happens, just a word of caution that you don't remove this cable. So at no point of time, it should get disconnected. So here it shows that the restoration is successful. Now let's proceed and look on iPhone on whether we have got an actual transfer of all our WhatsApp from the Android. Now let's see what's happening here. So it says WhatsApp data has been successfully restored to iPhone 11 right and the iphone is now restarting as you can see so there you go our iphone has restarted now we'll just check so here now basically if i head towards whatsapp would like to access your contacts okay so we'll just allow that says no backup found on the icloud okay skip restore optimizing whatsapp let's see and now like click open so we'll give enter your name would like to access your photos always allow access to all photos and you can see in the back end everything is coming so all my groups and everything so everything has now come i'll just still show it to you done 
and all my thing, everything is there. So presently I don't want to back this up to the iCloud, but all my things which were then my Android phone has now all been transferred to my iPhone. We'll just take a close up so that you can see all groups, all messages, everything has come here. So if I can actually enter and show you the groups. So if you see like, you know, inside the groups, actually this messages were just done like, you know, just a second back and it's still coming. So I'm really happy. I mean, all my media files, everything is there. So you can see that the restoration has been completely done and it's perfectly fine. I've just checked and I've seen all the groups along with the chat messages, including the media files. Everything is there. I mean, to the last detail, I mean, it's all been transferred, all the pictures, all the images. So it's really a good solution. You can go ahead, use the link in the video description to get a discount on your package and definitely go ahead and try this step by step. This is no steps being skipped in the whole process. So we will just like, uh, kind of wrap up now at this point it is safe to remove the iPhone from the device and I just want to kind of compare the WhatsApp version so we'll shortly be doing it on the tabletop so I have done checking and I can vouch for it so this was my Android phone and this is my iPhone so you can see even the last message of my wife <laughs> replying with a folder and everything is coming so everything works perfectly fine the um, the images are there, the media files are there, like everything I can see. So it's actually great. I mean, this app really works. Like any other transfer, if you think like you didn't really want this, you can go ahead and verify this on your old number. And you know, this will go and this will start working. The Android will start working. But I'm really happy with the transfer that's happened here. I mean, I will just uh, shortly kind of, you know, show you like a few things. So a few images and everything. And you can realize that it really works. So all the images, every other thing is there. Even the groups are there along with the messages and everything. So it's a perfectly working solution. So guys, that's all there is to it. I mean, I am happy that we could show you the whole thing step by step. If you like our work, consider subscribing to the channel. Click on the bell icon for notifications. And please, please, please share this on social network with your friends, family, colleagues. I'm very sure there are so many of you who want to do this, who want to know how to transfer whatsapp from an android to an iphone or an iphone to an android if it's from android to android or iphone to iphone well you really don't need the third party solution and we have tutorials for all of that but when it's something like this well maybe you need iCare phone or maybe you need mobile plans and i guess this video should really help you do that thank you so much for your support it means a lot to us thank you i'll catch you in the next one